hi friends welcome to game art game art today what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, we're gonna see how to make a sprite sheet for unity and what all the different uh, sprite sheets in unity so now i am in a krita i have uh, all the animations ready uh, you know i made just made uh, some simple animation for example and then you can see each frames uh, uh, like each images i made like each images each frame all right so i have around uh, five images for now around six and then uh, i export like png so that i can uh, save the uh, transparency background all right so uh, all right so so what i export like each frame is uh, 256 by 256 images uh, each frame so i need to make a big uh, sprite sheet uh, which can you know uh, include all these images six images so let's take a calculator and say uh, 256 256 by into six so 1536 that's uh, uh, width I have to say and the height um, I can make it to 56 only because uh, just one uh, you know row I can make so let's make the width uh, 1536 and then height I can make around uh, 256 yeah all right so let's create one big sprite sheet and um, and then just put everything inside that sprite sheet so I have six frames in that big one now and then uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna arrange all these frames one by one frame one select frame two and move, move from that position to proper area and then again select frame three and uh, you know i did just change the background color because you know now you know uh on the words exactly you have to put because uh we have to make sure that each frame is you know placed very well so that 256 256 by 256 you can crop very well in unity so make sure all the frames are equal and equally distributed so right let's arrange it's almost done and um, yeah the last one okay all right so so a little bit down all right so so this is our spy sheet okay now that um, we have properly arranged 256 by 256 and only one thing is remaining as we have to make a uh, transparent if you want to see only the character just uh, select the background and delete and some white here and there so you can see some whites all right so let's delete all these whites okay now all right so now we have well sprite sheet and let's export like a png so i can save the transparency sprite sheet let's name it like a sprite sheet type underscore one all right so let's save that one all right so so let's take the next one it's like the random one so th this step the next step you don't have to really worry about uh, the placement that where you have to place the each sprites is frames uh, this uh, you know this image this price sheet I'll show you uh, you don't need to really about you don't you don't have to really care about the where you have to place the sprite sheet really you can even randomly place on the you know the sprite sheets so I'll show you let's make the transparent background let me select one 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 and then delete the background all right okay so now we have uh, delete the background we got a transparency select frame 2 because frame 1 we want that place and move somewhere somewhere like you know wherever you want to put 
and select frame so you don't have to really care about the 256 by 256 which we did last time you don't have to uh, worry about the size and placement you can place anywhere but don't please make sure that it's there is no like if the cropping the unity gonna crop this image while cropping it should not touch other image so you got it so so there should be some enough space so if you keep like that unity can easily i mean easily cut it out so uh, keep some distance all right so and then you can even keep uh, irregularly so that's not a problem just delete the uh, background whites all right so now you can see i just placed um, randomly it's not a proper row or you know proper line or something proper distance just up and down and here and there so if you are hurry you can do the these steps it works no problem just crop it because i don't want this remaining area all right so now we have spike sheet ready with the different uh, you know kind of uh, arrangement all right Oh, we all oh, correct so I think I missed just uh, one more frame let's track that one in uh, because uh, we had three or six frames and I missed the last one just put wherever it is it doesn't matter all right so just crop and then export the uh, sprite sheet all right so before we had spreadsheet type one now this is a type two um, all right so that's done and then uh, let's open uh, all right let's see everything is working fine before yes looks good equally distributed 256 by 256 distance each frames um, looks good now let's go back to check the other one um yeah still some white see you can see some was still some white is there let's go back and change the background color so that you know what exactly is going on all right so it could blue so it's still there are some you know kind of background I need to delete whites maybe more whites and some more and delete that <clears throat> excuse me delete 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 all right so some more some more some more some more delete all right so all right th this time it will work definitely we did clean the very well now so just save as png type 2 and then uh, all right so let's check one more time so type two all right so that will be good no problem with that and uh, now let's open unity and in unity what happened is go to assets and just let's create a folder for uh, importing the sprite sheet let's name it like uh, sprite sheets all right so just open that up and then just drag the two type uh, you know sprite sheets type one and uh, type two all right let's just drag that one in all right so now we have type one and type two in unity let's take the first one and what you have to do go to texture type um yeah let's go to the texture type and say sprite studio ua uh, make it the sprite mode multiple because we have multiple frames and import uh, texture alpha size is fine I would, I would i would say you just have to make the big size so that you can reduce the size later on it's not other way around if you have a small size uh, it's, you can't make it big you will lose the uh, information the quality all right just apply it and then use the sprite editor it will, you will get this kind of window and uh, 
the type one we know that it is 256 by 256 each frames so we can crop uh, by putting the you know image um, size so i would say grid by cell count or no grid by cell size because we know that cell size all right so i got some message all right fine and uh, yeah let's put the uh, grid by cell size 256 by 256 uh, that is my grill size all right so just click slice so you can see now it's unity uh, cropped all these frames by 256 by 256 now you can easily see uh, what I'm talking about so there is no much overlapping or those kind of problem so it will work no issue in that let's apply and close it now you can see all the frames cropped all right just select all the frames drag and drop to scene and then it will ask you to change the name of the animator just say spice sheet type one all right so now uh, now we have the spice sheet ready uh, in the scene all right just let's say let's hit and play all right so it's working fine so the boy is running boy or girl maybe yeah it's a girl i'm oh, sorry all right so whatever it is so it's working fine now so that is a type one i would say this is a much clean step so you know if you have proper size and those things and if you click the uh, animator um just try this i show you if you click the animator um you can change the speed you know we can make it slow you can mirror it uh, those things you can say so it's running like a machine now all right so those steps if you like to do you can go ahead and you know tweak the speeds how you want in the, your game okay let's 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 figure out the second one all right so second one type two or well, something weird sprite sheets different space i'll show you uh, make sprite sheet 2d and ui make it multiple don't forget that and then import texture alpha apply it and go to sprite editor so now now it's a tricky part the unity is really powerful now so you don't really need to place properly you don't need to worry about the size so you just have to hit uh, the first time we hit the grid, uh, grid by cell size and this time we'll go for automatic so so automatic slice mode enable and then slice so unity will go ahead and slice all these images so wherever the pixel has color information they'll crop it and remaining transparency they'll leave it so so yeah so you can see it's uh, properly cropped let's see how that work and select all these cropped frames put in the scene change the animation name now this time uh, animation is sprite sheet type 2 all right so let's put all right here you go so let's hit play yeah she running to here no problem all right so both girls are running let's put together and see is there any um, drastic change or is any big difference between the um, I think it's pretty much same yeah it's, it's working fine now so that's just two a type of arrangement in the frames in the sprite sheet all right so you can uh the second one is a cell uh the third i mean sorry the third one is um the cell count so if you know the number of row and column you can do that so that is a cell count all right so let's uh, talking about that one so we need cell size and let's go for cell count all right so in the cell count in our case we know that's just one row right and how many columns one two three four four six columns okay the row i'll make one uh sorry um wait actually 
yeah yeah that's fine yeah all right so the we did a row uh, one and then column six and just hit apply all right so let's hit play and see that will work fine all right so no problem that because it's almost the next one is the very important one like a uh, little more optimized one so you can see uh, one sprite sheet has different animations uh, the first one is running front and running left right and then going back so that's the one special just uh, how to make animator out of uh, the one single sprite sheet let's see do the same steps you know make it uh, you know multiple and sprite sheet editor go to sprite editor and we know the top one is our uh, running one so different one just go for first you do automatic uh, you know you can if you know the size it's fine automatic well, works this case fine all right there is no overlapping issues you can check each one is there any problem all right so yeah everything looks fine no worries about that so each from just go hit apply close the window all right so let's now you know let's see which frame to which frame is what animation so zero to seven is our first animation all right so what is eight i think yeah zero not zero to eight zero to seven all right so just drag them into the scene and name it um because it's the first animation uh, so uh, we we'll say uh running all right something like that some name you can say uh, coming or i know right, friend so this is our animation the first one so, um, let's see how it's working here yeah, looks fine working fine so one sprite it has four animations There's a little more optimized uh, thing and let's see let's grab the other animation frames i think uh, a to no a to a to 15 all right so just drag that into scene name it <coughs> excuse me run side right side one maybe left right now let's put side one let's see how that works let's keep it together like nearby so that we can you know compare uh, how it's going all right so let's hit yeah she running that side too okay let's grab the um, second animation now close that one and go grab the second animation mm, 16 that for sure 16 to uh, 16 to 22 all right so just grab that just put that in the scene uh, running right side and side two all right that's fine all right just put that i just play it and see how that works yeah thanks works fine let's take the second one so like that if you have many animations in your sprite sheet you can go ahead and select the frames and drag and drop the scene and you know you will get a different controller and uh, different animations so later on you can make one single controller and then put all this controller together and you can trigger that way so next video i'll just dis uh, 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 let's discuss about the you know uh the little more deep about the animators and you know animations you know how to create animator out of the fbx you know how to uh, you know crop the animation all these things we have to discuss in the next video so this video is more uh, about the animations and the sprite sheets so we discussed the uh, how to crop how to make sprite sheet uh, what all the slicing method automatic cell count and cell size and now we discussed if if there are many uh, animation on sprite sheets what we have to do how to make a controller in out of uh, you know a single sprite sheet which has many animation yeah um
that's about the video if you like the video if you uh, you know learn something a little bit on my video please subscribe my channel support me and um, we have to discuss many things and if you have any queries if you have any uh, better idea just drop the, your comment down and you know um, in the description i give uh, one um, link so that you can uh, go to that link you can uh, you know uh, make your spreadsheet sheet online better than uh, so um, uh, like if you have a frames and if your animation is ready and you don't have to you know open the photoshop or any other 2d uh, editing application you can just go on that uh, you know link and you know just drag and drop your frames into the window and it will give you the um, sprite sheets so in the description i have kept that link so you can use that one so thanks for watching guys uh, catch you in the next video Thanks, bye-bye, see you.